Yes, well, tonight I saw what appeared to be a very peaceful march that began after an hour long rally behind the San Marco Library. I also saw acts of kindness from homeowners who live just up the street. Those people, they were offering water and fruit to the people that were marching through the streets. I also saw what appeared to be people making their voices heard. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! For nearly an hour, Sky 4 captured thousands of people slowly marching down Hendricks Avenue, then onto San Marco Boulevard, where they continued through residential areas of San Marco to have their voices heard. What do you think about this crowd? I think it's amazing. We have a great turnout. There's so many people out here, and I'm just thankful that they are supporting us in our movement. A movement to condemn the Minneapolis police killing of George Floyd, despite charges filed against officers involved in his death. I take it that's still not enough until you get a conviction. It is. We do need conviction for it because that shows that we're really looking for real justice, not just for things that's looking trendy right now. During the demonstration, we kept seeing signs about white silence and hearing about white privilege when it comes to how African Americans are treated by police compared to white Americans. We have to speak up because we are the ones who created the system and we are the ones who have created the oppression. So for us to take a step back and say, hey, like, I can't be silent about this anymore. I need to pass the mic. Some folks I spoke with say they hope that the younger generation learns from this experience. I hope that they just realize that it's time to show the police that it's time to handle things peacefully. Now, overall, it was a very peaceful event. In fact, even when a couple of people tried to start an argument with some folks who were marching, those folks who were marching just simply ignored what they were being, what was being yelled at them and kept on marching. Now, coming up at 11, you're going to hear why the Duval County Health Department is worried about these massive gatherings, even while we're in the middle of a global pandemic. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.